history of charity and telling its witness, please. Thank you, Judge. Good morning, sir. How are you? Could you please state your name and spell your last name for the record? Austin Contreras, C-O-N-T-R-E-R-A-S. Are you currently an NAU student, Austin? I am. When did you start going to NAU? Uh, I'd say about two years ago. Where'd you grow up? Uh, Chandler, Arizona, born and raised. In October of 2015, what year were you in at uh, NAU? Uh, I believe technically a sophomore. Still studying the same thing you were then? Uh, still business, just changed a little bit in the emphasis. Okay, and your current emphasis? Uh, logistics and supply chain management. In October of 2015, Austin, uh, where were you living? Uh, the Groves. All right. And fair to say that's an apartment complex um, near the NAU campus? Yes, sir. Did you have friends that lived at the courtyard apartments? Yes, sir. And what were their names? Uh, Nicholas Peering, Michael Mullen, and Colin Brown. How did you know these guys? Uh, well, I've grown up with Nick. Um, we went to high school, I think one year together, and then we just stayed friends. And I knew Colin through Nick. Uh, they had dorm together freshman year, so I came up and visited them a couple times. Was there also an uh, uh, individual named Brandon that you knew at that uh, complex? Yes. What was his last name? Uh, I believe it's M. Ryan. Directing your attention to the date of October 8th of 2015, do you recall that day? Yes, I do. Did you go over to the courtyards on the 8th? Yes. What prompted that? Um, I think I had texted Nick Peary, he didn't reply to me right away, and then I texted Michael Mullen, just asking if they were having a little get together. And uh, he said, yeah, just to cruise on over on 9. So I rode my bike over there and locked it up on the gate. Okay. How far would you say the courtyards are from the groves? Point two of a mile. It's um, pretty close. Did, uh, and so they were having a gathering over there? Yes, sir. And which, you're familiar with the courtyards, it's a, fair to say it's a group of apartments, right? Yes. And which apartment was the uh, gathering in? It was in Brandon's. I mean, if you're standing in the courtyard looking towards the mountain, I guess you could say it's the farthest on the right-hand side. Okay. The, um, all right. And who else lived with Brandon, do you recall? Um, I don't know. <coughs> those guys, uh, some of those guys are in Greek life, is that correct? Yes, sir. Were you in Greek life? No, sir. So you said you went over at what time? 9, 9.30. Uh, I can't really recall exactly when, but around then. All right, and so can you describe uh, just very generally uh, w w the nature of the gathering for the next few hours? Um, everyone was kind of congregated in Brandon's room. Uh, it was in there, it was a little bit hot, so I kind of like make my way in and out. Um, I mean, I guess you could say it was like a decent need size party. It's not the biggest one I've seen there, that's for sure, but it just looked like a bunch of just close friends just trying to have a party and drink. 
All right, so there was drinking happening? Of course. Were you aware of whether or not there were other social gatherings going on in the courtyards at that time? No. You weren't aware? <coughs> I mean, sometimes at those parties, people like go in and out of like other people's rooms, but I'm not friends with them, so I'm really just limited to just going in wherever Nick's going. Did security stop by at any point that night that you were aware of? Uh, I believe so, yes. I think I heard something about it. But it I didn't see any security, but I heard something about it. Okay. And do you know what that was about? Uh, I believe it was just noise. Was it a particularly loud party? I wouldn't think it was, but apparently to them they thought it was. It was a uh, Thursday night? I believe so. Did you have anything to drink yourself that night? Yes. Uh, are you able to estimate for the jury how much? Uh, I'd say at least two to four shots of alcohol and six to seven beers. Over what period of time? Three, four hours. Did that have an effect on you? Yes. How would you describe your level of uh, intoxication? Uh, I'd say like one through ten, maybe like a seven and a half, eight. Okay, so you were pretty yes, pretty well under the influence. I, I'm gonna have to just ask you yes. to verbally. Thanks. So, uh, did the visit from security have any effect on the party goers or the people holding the party? Yeah, they were trying to limit people outside and just keep everybody inside one of the houses. Okay, to limit the noise? I think it did. I didn't, seem, I didn't think it was that loud. Do you recall what the status of the party was at about 1 o'clock in the morning? It was winding down. There was probably 10 to 15 people still left, I'd say. And I think they were pretty good, really good friends with the other people living there, it looked like. So it's kind of just like really close friends, just kind of hanging out still. Okay. Where were you? Were you inside or outside? I was hanging out outside. And that was because it was too hot inside? Yeah. Did uh, people you didn't recognize arrive in the courtyard in that approximate time frame? Yes. How many? Three. Do you remember any characteristics about them, any description you can provide of those three people? Um, from my memory, they were all of like white descent. Um, they were, one of them was a little bit taller, with blonde hair. I didn't really stir them up too hard. I wasn't really concerned about who was walking in at that time. How tall are you, Austin? Uh, right now, close to 5'8". You can just say 5'7". Somewhere mm -hmm. between 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, yeah. Do you know what you weigh? Uh, 155 pounds. That's now? That's now. Do you know how much you weighed in uh, on October 8th, October 9th of 2015, roughly? Uh, around 120. So these guys that came into the courtroom, do you recall whether they were taller than you, your size? Taller than me. Was there any interaction between party goers and those three individuals? Yes, sir. Can you describe that interaction? Uh, they pretty much asked him to leave. Uh, there was definitely some cussing involved. Um, get the F out of here, stuff like that. Were they asked uh, if they knew anybody at the party? Yes, sir. Did they indicate? I don't, I don't know. Were they originally asked nicely to leave? I believe the first time was nice, and then I think they started calling out like pledge references, like leave, pledge, stuff like that, get the F out of here, stuff like that. 
When you say pledge, what do you mean? Like Russian fraternity type thing. Do you remember any reference to any particular fraternity? No. Do you remember who amongst the party goers was involved in asking those guys to leave the party? Uh, I believe Nick Pierre and Colin. Um, yeah. Did the other guys respond immediately to that request to leave? Uh, I'd say so. We kind of just like moved the way slowly around the corner. Was there an argument? Yes, between both, between both of them. You mean back and forth between both? Yes. So, all right. And you said they moved. Can you describe what you mean by they moved? <coughs> they just walked around the corner. It wasn't like they were running. They just walked. OK. That those three guys walked around the corner? Yeah. Remember what they were saying? So then uh, some period of time passed before the next thing that captured your attention, is that correct? Yes. What was the next thing that captured your attention? I just noticed people, noticed people slowly moving the corner in the corner the same way that they left. And uh, I kind of just followed, just tailed them. Okay. How much time passed in between when those three guys left and when other people were moving around the corner? Two to four minutes, I'd say. When you went around the corner or saw other people going around the corner, were you uh, in a rush? No, I just walked. Did the other folks that were going around walk as well? Yeah. Where was the next thing? Where did you go to, I should ask? Uh, I just, there's a little parking lot on the uh, west side of the courtyard. I kind of just stepped on the sidewalk right in front of there and just kind of observed everything that was happening. OK. Tell the jury what you were observing happening. Um, it looked like a, kind of like a circle, almost like a, you know, just like a typical circle fight that you could you know, like people form a circle and kind of get in, in each other's faces type thing. When you say fight, was there uh, any, at that point in time, did you observe any physical confrontation or would you say, well, how would you describe it? Uh, they were kind of just like going back and forth, like cussing at each other. Were, I didn't see any punches or anything thrown, so. Any physical confrontation? No, it was all verbal. How far away from this confrontation were you? 10, 15 feet. Do you know what the confrontation was about? Just asking them why they came back. I thought we told you to leave, stuff like that. Did you recognize uh, anybody involved in the confrontation? Uh, as far as people I knew or? Well, let me ask the question a little differently. Did you recognize, okay, so can you describe um, like roughly how many people were out there? Mm, seven to 10. Total? Yes. Uh, yeah. And, and we'll go to the uh, Leica uh, scan in a few minutes, but the, um, can you, you know, describe where people were were, you know, were they standing in the street? Where were they relative to each other? What can you tell the jury about that? Uh, they were standing, to me it looked like they were smacked out in the middle of the street. And it looked like to me they were just standing in the double yellow. Okay, and can you def describe, was, were all of those people involved in the confrontation or what can you tell the jury about that? Mm, I just kind of heard people yelling, I'm not sure who was really involved. Was everybody tightly together, or were they dispersed? Yes, it was pretty tight. Okay. Did you recognize, uh, <clears throat> did anybody involved in the confrontation seem to be the guys you saw in the courtroom? I mean, in the, excuse, excuse me, the courtyard? Uh, I would assume so, just because they were saying, like I said, I've never seen these guys before. So I don't really know who they are. I just kind of was basing my observation on what was being said. 
All right, so you thought it was the same guys? Yes. <laughs> so was it two groups squaring off? It, describe that, whatever the confrontation was, to the best of your ability. Um, I guess they were kind of obviously cussing each other when you come back. Um, kind of like getting almost in each other's faces. I wouldn't say they were like, you know, that close, but they were kind of like chesting up, it looked like to me. Chesting up? What does that mean? Just like getting big, you know what I mean? Like sticking your chest out. How close would you say that they were? Foot and a half, two feet. Okay, that, that amount of distance in between the people? Yes, sir. Was it the three guys on one side and everybody else on the other? seem like it was a circle. I'm not sure if there was like people that they knew on one side or people that from the courtyard on the other. It kind of just looked like a big mass of people. I didn't really nitpick it. I didn't, you know, I wasn't really concerned. Um, so you were watching this go on. Um, was anybody standing in your immediate proximity? I believe Kyle was. It was Kyle. Go ahead. Uh, I used to work with Kyle. Um, he's, I don't know he's in the fraternity. I'm not really good friends with him, but I just kind of make acquaintances with him. Kyle Zentek? Yes, sir. He was standing next to you? Yes, sir. Were you guys chatting? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Did you recognize any of uh, anybody from the, any of the party goers that you were familiar with? in uh, the confrontation in the street? I believe Khan was out there. Um, everyone else is kind of just familiar faces. I really don't know their name and I really wasn't, I don't know, like staring at it. I was kind of turning my back, just talking. Do you have a drink in your hand? Yes, sir. What about uh, Mr. Peering? Did you uh, see him out there? No, I, didn't, I did not see him out there. So you and Kyle were out there. Is that part of the 10? No. OK. Um, was anybody else? Similarly to you and Kyle, on looking, not involved in the thing? I don't remember. During uh, that confrontation, did you hear anybody say, I'm going to kill you, or the word you kill used? No. Did you hear any life-threatening statements? No. Did you see anybody during that confrontation with any weapons? No. How long would you, well, OK. And again, both groups were talking to each other? Yeah. Curse words back and forth? Yes, sir. At some point in time, Austin, you decided to do something. Is that correct? Yes. What was that? I uh, decided to punch someone. Why did you do that? I was drunk. I was acting stupid. So what, you, you made that decision, and then what did you do? Uh, I took the swing. Um, everybody started kind of scattering in what it seemed like all directions. I kind of just turned my back and made my way back over to where I was standing next to the next to the uh, parking car, or next to the parking lot. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. You were not in the circle in the street. Is that right? No, I was not in the circle. So you made the decision to throw a punch.